Hello, this is Graham Moore, and I'm the head of tokenization at Polymath. In this video, we'll take a very quick look at the brand new Polymath Token Studio on Aldebaran, which is the first Polymesh testnet. What that means is we're looking at a test version of the Polymath Token Studio on Aldebaran, which is a testnet of the Polymesh blockchain. So all of the tokens created using this test version are for test purposes only, and they have no economic value. To use Aldebaran, we'll need our Aldebaran testing wallet. We'll connect our Aldebaran testing wallet here to the Token Studio, and we'll take a very brief look at what the brand new Polymath Token Studio looks like based on one of these tokens I've created previously. So let's take a look at the Demo1 token. You can see the token details here. On the Compliance tab, you can see we now have approved claim issuers. So I am an approved claim issuer. I'm able to make claims about specific DIDs, decentralized identities. I can also very easily implement rules about this specific token based on these rule templates we have here. So maybe receivers of the token must be KYC'd. Here's where an approved claim issuer can make claims. We see here this identity, they have no expiry on their KYC, their buy lockup ended on June 24th, and they're an accredited investor. Here we can easily distribute tokens to that one DID who we've made a claim about. You can see I've minted 100 tokens to them in the past, but we could mint more tokens to them now. If you'd like to test out the brand new Polymath Token Studio on Aldebaran, which is the first Polymesh testnet, I recommend going to polymath.network slash Aldebaran. That'll take you to our getting started guide where you can see how to get the Aldebaran testing wallet extension, how to use the poly to poly X upgrade bridge, our identity verification platform, which is how you get your DID, decentralized identity, and of course, how to use the Polymath Token Studio on Polymesh. Thanks for watching, happy testing.